what's up y'all i am on my boho homeless chic vibes and babe hates my outfit <laughs> he says my pants look too saggy which i was telling him i'm like that's the look but he doesn't get it it's okay it's okay says the man who has on flip-flops babe have to go do something really quick so i'm finna move from the driver's seat to the to the passenger seat because i trailed him here and we're gonna take one car let's see if he say something <laughs> boom smooth like that the food truck parking everything is closed except this one place but it don't have no menu on the thing no thing the truck is white and i don't they made my people in line so i don't know if it's good <laughs> This is heavy. It was not heavy, but it hurt. It's hurting my head. I tied it a little tight, but I had to, cause otherwise it'll it will fall off. But I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't know. I'm, I might keep it going, cause I got I got other stuff that I want to do and I want to share. So we might just keep the vibes rolling. You feel me? Whenever I have free time to film. There's somebody moving in. There's somebody cutting the hedges. It's a storm outside. It's dogs barking. But whenever I'm just in the house, it's quiet. But your girl wanna film a video and she can't. Like, what is going on? What is going on? Y'all, this vlog is literally all over the place. Um, but I am not doing good. <laughs> I'm alive, I'm blessed, I'm well, and I'm grateful for everything that I have. And I'm, I'm, I've been living this whole year in a reflective state, um, always just thinking about um, moving with intention and in my, my future, my past, um, things to come, my current circumstances. And I'm just in a, not in the most ideal space in my life right now. Um, and I'm very, I'm a very positive person, but sometimes I get in these little ruts of funk and I'll be not okay. Uh, <laughs> clearly, I've talked to y'all before about that before, but I just, I, sometimes I just want to check in and say that with y'all because I don't want anybody to see me going to restaurants and <clears throat> um, going to different places and think that my life is just like, all these events and all these activities because you don't even know sometimes I don't even be about to make it to those activities because I don't be having a red scent to my name um, but I don't I I filmed this something sort of similar to this before but I don't think that I the camera was on um, but the the e-commerce brand that I was working with um, earlier this year I no longer work with them um, and that was basically my main source of income. So I've been working my part-time job more um, and back driving Postmates and now I drive Uber Eats too, which is actually way better than Postmates. Um, but I'm in a very financially binding <laughs> place right now. Um, and I'm not <clears throat> the odd thing about it is I'm not worried but I'm not cool either because I don't want this to be my my life 
but I'm not like stressing about like anything because I haven't starved. I still have a place to live. Um, and I have people who care about me and check on me and love on me and pray for me. And I have my faith. So, um, I'm good, but I'm not, <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but just say a prayer for your girl because not every day is beautiful. Well, every day is beautiful because I'm alive, but not every day is glamorous and not every day is filled with activity. Some days it's just me, myself, and my thoughts. So, um, just pray for me. Pray for any next steps in my career. By the time you see this video, I don't know what can change. Um, because I don't even know when this video is coming in. I thank y'all for the support, the subs uh, y'all subscribing, y'all sharing, uh, commenting, talking to me in person and telling me about things I've said. Like it's still weird a little bit to me, but I accept it and I, I truly appreciate each and every comment and like and yeah, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yes, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Yeah. I'm literally heading home and I had to pull over because it doesn't look as bad, but it's like monsoon hurricane level rain outside. And I would know because I had to experience a hurricane two years ago, three, yeah, two years ago. And I almost spun out just a second ago. It was like completely dark outside and I couldn't see anything. I wanted to grab myself something to eat. I was doing some Postmates delivery. Um, but I'm just going to have to sit here. I'm right, I pulled right up to Cafe Ginger and I didn't know at the time because it was like horrible, horribly uh, hard to see. So I might go in there. Uh, hopefully they have like happy hour or something so I can get some food for cheap because I was just going to ride through somebody's drive through um, But man, what the world? Somebody, I'm like really upset. Somebody was like painting something by my apartment and they dropped paint all over my car. I'm like, I don't have I don't have time for these problems. I really don't. Now the sun is beaming, y'all. I'm trying to debate on whether or not I wanna stay. Ooh, excuse me, stay out or should I go home? Cause Houston will change on you really fast. Like it already kinda did. And I don't wanna be stuck out in the rain again but I don't know so I am currently in the River Oaks area near Cafe Ginger near what else is over here Panera Bread um, Home Goods TJ Maxx all that and I'm headed I think I'm headed towards Washington Ave right now to do a pickup and right now it's dinner time so it's like bussing and popping right now <clears throat> so it's like a perfect time to be doing deliveries and uh washington app is like 
a popping area so um with those kind of areas you get paid more so we finna head so i just picked up a super big order and it's not far from the location so that's good well it could be good I'll tell you why in a minute it's louder. Here, let me get in the car. <laughs> so it could be good because for your flexibility flexibility and you staying in one area, it's great when you have a pickup um, and a drop off that are not far from each other. Um, but of course, the farther you drive out, the more you get paid, uh, which can be good if you have the time. But if you're just like trying to get a couple rides in in between something, um, or before the sun goes down in my case it's great when you have like a pickup and a drop off within the same area so a, mo a non monetary benefit of doing like these food delivery apps and different things is getting your bearings in a new city as well as finding dope restaurants or new restaurants that you wouldn't even know about unless you knew about it <laughs> um like i found so many restaurants just from doing either postmates uber eats um whatever app it is right now i'm using uber uber eats um normally it's postmates um, my boyfriend he does doordash and i have to say that uber eats is killing everything right now so i just did my delivery um well my yeah i just did my drop off and um while I was doing that drop off, I got pinged for another pickup, um, which rarely happened. But today, this, is, this has been booming. <laughs> DJ Khaled voice. But um, so, yeah, so I'm going to go pick up that order. This is probably my seventh delivery today. Uh, if it wasn't for that storm, I probably would have been on 10. But it's flooding and there's um, some lights down some like traffic lights down so but all in all today has been a good day I, 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 I,